Uh, Welcome, uh, and this is the Everything Show Part Two uh, with the uh, we're talking about Star Wars: The The Rise of Skywalker. I am your host, Matrix Flinch, and we're doing with Scott. What's up, Scott? I'm totally mind fucked. Yes. What's up, Philip? Fuck you. Anyway, hello. Yeah. What's up, Matt? <laughs> Sorry. Welcome back to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Chris? You're not my could grandma. you imagine? Could you imagine that Thanksgiving? You got Palpatine <laughs> at the head of the table. <laughs> Later, you got Luke, Ray, Kylo Ren, Han Solo, and Leia. Uh, no, That's so crazy. Baby. It's not <laughs> ready. It's like so <laughs> That's a true That's the true Adams family <laughs> right there. Who the fuck? I mean, did they want to? Uh, did they try to do? This is terrible. This is now, fucking yeah. god awful. Yes, it yeah, is. Experience the this is like this remind me when I was in the schoolyard. Like, and I would say, "Oh, it's probably the same thing with Zack Snyder and stuff." Well, it's like, like, wouldn't it be cool? Remember, spoilers, spoilers for the Rise of Skywalker potentially. Yeah. So if you don't wouldn't want to it know, be cool? Watch. Yeah. yeah it could and be then like the Star Destroyers are Death Stars. <laughs> well, the thing is that in the books they have the super yeah. star destroyers that have like there's yeah. lasers built in. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's not new. Man. Star oh, destroyers with freaking right. laser beam death stars. There, there, are, yeah. Yeah. there are. There are. There are in the Legends canon, like man. Oh my! There are. There are star destroyers that were built with Death Star technology. Oh. Yeah, but if they do that and this force storm, this sounds exactly like they're taking it from the books from the old. Absolutely. Block. Yeah, because, so, because in Dark Empire, Palpatine uses a Force Storm to bring Luke to him. That's so, wrong. So, so is Luke going to take the essence of Han Solo and dump his DNA on Earth, and then he's Indiana Jones now? No, he's taking oh. the essence. Of, <laughs> yeah. He's taking the essence of Obi Wan Kenobi here. Like I'm too tired for this shit. You can all do it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so done. Now there's one thing is they've also stated Yoda might be in the film as well. Everybody's gonna be in it. It's it's a good it's a big goodbye. So it's well, I wasn't expe- again as we said in the middle the of the last Jedi. Time, it's I wasn't expecting moment. Dennis Lawson to come back because he said I'm not doing it. I'm not touching any Star Wars film. And he's like, yeah, whatever. I'm coming back. I would have rather them done time travel. <laughs> well, well, let's let, let's talk about this too because apparently. Wedge Antilles is in this movie. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. So, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. As long as they don't bring me that floppy head wanker. If his, if his famous nephew was in it, Ewan McGregor. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, I will forgive this movie if this plot leak is true, right? Right. There's one thing, there's one thing that they can do that I will forgive everything that they've done in this movie. Don't release it. If at, if, <laughs> if at the end of the movie, when Palpatine is killing Ray with Force Lightning, and the Force Ghosts show up, if Obi Wan's Force Ghost shows up and he goes "Hello there," I will forgive them. Why? Oh, I was I was not I'm quite going to come Why? as well. Because that would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Hello there. Do you remember my new spit? Do you know my new spell series is coming soon? Exactly. <laughs> oh, and well, they would do that. They would actually do that. To um, why guys are going to be there too? Yeah, uh, we. I, I wouldn't mind that. I would love that. Mace, Mace Windu with his hand back together. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he comes in. He's like, remember me, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 you took me out the window. window. All these like, motherfucking sins and the motherfucking nice Palpatine's like, wait, what the hell? What does that say on your army? He says it's his badass motherfucker army. <laughs> <laughs> this, is like, this is a fucked up shit. I've been I hanging on Coruscant for 400 years. Yeah, it would say, call me Dolomite. <laughs> Dolomite. <laughs> Maybe look at the master from the curse of Ill death. Wait for me. Wait for me. <laughs> Wait for me. I got a present for you, Ray, on this Don't desert planet. <laughs> it's <is> Ben Solo. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're saying the film is him as the rise of Skywalker Kylo. When he dies, he'll rise back as a Skywalker. Yeah, a Skywalker. that's apparently the thing. Yeah, her yeah. adopting the name Skywalker, which, if that's true, I called that shit. 
five months ago. Oh, oh God, Millie, it's Millie, it's Millie Joseph. I can't it's, actually. It's, it's going to be Ray Lowe's. <laughs> hey, well, well, wait, for any wrestling fans out there, we're going to just divert for a second. Yeah. I called Kane Velasquez debuting on SmackDown three days before it happened. Wow. Oh, there you go. I, call, I would call Philip in his drag outfit before that all happens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do drag. I can't fit in any dresses. So we're gonna oh, get, are we going to get a Star Wars comedy? Like, how, how, how are you going to get diapers on the desert and shit like that? Like, <laughs> oh, oh, I can't wait for the holiday. Out. Come on, bring me the Wookiee car out. <laughs> Can we have a holiday special? Can we have a new holiday special? Yeah, that's what, what I was going to say. That. I was going to say that. Yeah, the holiday special. He wants that. What's I, I, think, I think what they should do, and I'm being very serious now when I say this. Oh, no. The the apparently the character from the old holiday special that was played by B. Arthur. Oh God! Oh God, no! That character is apparently canon. Oh my God! All right. Oh, I want them to reveal that that was Palpatine's wife. Jesus and I want the Christmas special to be. Christmas with the Palpatine. Oh, <laughs> and then you hear and then you hear the evil Empire version of Thank You for Being a Friend. Exactly, exactly. It's Palpatine <laughs> singing it. And it opens Thank up Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> <laughs> and Travel it around the world up. and back again. It Your opens heart up is. With, It opens up with Palpatine's kids running into their room like, Daddy, it's Christmas and he's like Five minutes, and they're like, "We want to open our presents," and he's like, "Go away," and they're like, "But dad," and he's like, "Do it," and then they're like, "Okay," but, <laughs> but then, but then the best part, right, <laughs> is that all the gifts he got them—they're not like things that children would like. They're all like ancient Sith artifacts <laughs> <laughs> that slowly drive the children crazy. Oh I, w- I want to see the drive through series. It's going to get an order 66. Have they, yeah. I've, got, I've got a question. The series, have they ever used uh, um, featured Omicrons in the actual movies? Holocrons? Omicron. Holocrons. Oh, Holocrons, uh, sorry. No, but them, they've uh, only used them in Clone Wars and Rebels. Yeah, they are canon. Yeah, they, they're definitely canon. Okay, fine. Okay. They do well, mention the Holocrons in Attack of the Clones, but they don't show them. I think George Lucas got his revenge if this movie comes out. Yeah, this is no, one he's... fucked up motherfucking shit. No, no, because you know in the book he's supposedly around um, the Force Awakens timeline as Jar Jar. He's supposed to be banished on the boo. It'd be like a surprise if he ends up in the movie. I, 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 I hate. Me, I, I think. I hate that creature. Ugh. Me too. Did not mean to help the rise of the Empire? Well, this this will probably make you feel better, Philip. Um, the canon explanation for what happens to Jar Jar Binks after um, the Empire takes over, um, they throw him out of the Senate. They throw him basically onto the streets of Coruscant. He's a beggar. He becomes a clown. Ooh. <laughs> he's, well, a, he's a clown for, he's a clown he's for a, children as his punishment uh, for the rights of the Empire. It's quite sad because they're like he spends the rest of his days performing for children as a clown on the streets of Coruscant, and it's because like oh, he now gave does, the, now during which time does a gun fall out of his uh, waistcoat? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done, well spotted. I like that. That's good. That was good. So did George Lucas oh. accept that? Uh, <laughs> that was knows. good. But you know, the funny thing is, for that he's there because he gave Palpatine emergency powers. Mm-hmm. So it's technically Jar Jar's fault we have the Empire. <laughs> <laughs> you silly little fucking lawyer bastard! What are you doing? He wasn't supposed to give him the emergency powers, and yeah, he was like, "Yeah, we're giving him the well, emergency powers." The way the way that they convinced him too was great. He's just like, "If only there was somebody who could give me emergency powers." <laughs> Yeah, boss. If only there was somebody that could give you emergency powers. And and George is like, like, hey, wait a minute. If I no, uh, hang on. on. Holiday holiday special twenty twenty. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, makes, yeah, it's all right. That makes sense. Carry yeah, on. So, uh, he's still, he's still trying to be in denial with his doctor. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm he just trying to... He doesn't like uh, to be wrong at all. I no. would, I would love, I'd love the meeting when he invited um, John to join. He says, hello, boyos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what else besides uh, this wonderful hodgepodge of a movie <laughs> that's right. coming out? Yeah. You might love it. I bet you're, you're going to love it. You know you will. Fuck no. Fuck yes. I think Philip would love it if he was the Mandalorian. <laughs> oh, I, can't, I forgot about that movie. I can't wait for that. The He's Mandalorian. Gonna, it's not movie. He's going to be in the theater, right, when it starts. And, and, and stuff is going to start to happen that sounds familiar. And he's going to be like, no, the fucking plot leak was real. <laughs> <laughs> I, might get drunk, I might get drunk after like, this movie. They're going to be like, sir. You're in a theater. Calm down. He's like, no, you don't know what's going to fucking happen. <laughs> <laughs> or worse, B. Arthur opens up the movie at the theater. Like, I, thought you, I thought you were going to say she opened up her legs. Then. I'm like, no, don't go there. Well, if Whoa. you want Philip, if you want Philip. <laughs> so, so here's the thing I don't understand. Go on. Plot. Just because they fucking killed the Emperor, like they fucking did before, right? Like Darth Vader? Mm. The first yeah. order don't go away. So who the fuck aren't they gonna fight the first order until there's nothing left? Well, yeah, because, oh, no. because even in Battlefront Two, they hinted at future movies. <laughs> no, wait. Here's my here's my explanation for that because they don't say it in the plot leak. But I okay. Kylo Ren is the supreme leader of the first order. Yeah. Uh, Kylo yeah. Ren has a Hail Mary face turn halfway through the movie. Ergo, Ben Solo is the supreme leader of the First Order. Therefore, he could technically turn it into the new New Republic if he wanted to. That's a good uh, point. Why? The, the resistance. So he's not going to have the mask? He's not going to talk and shit? Like, what, what? girl? <laughs> Apparently, he does, he does have the mask. They, somebody repairs it. That's why it's the mask with the red, you know, right. stuff on it. Um, but apparently, he mostly doesn't wear it in the movie. Oh, put that shit on your face. Yeah, is he, he you look like a goddamn rock band from the 80s. Is he, gonna, is he going to rip his shirt off and show his muscles again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's, in love with him. she's in love with him, you're saying? No, no, they don't hint to that at all, apparently. No, she just. No. Oh my God! Put that shirt back on, Kylo Ren. <laughs> yeah, yeah because, because they couldn't do it again because Philip had went to Pornhub afterwards looking for. Because killing Han Solo is sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Philip went to Pornhub to see if there was a full X rated version. Of that. He was just dis- like, he was disappointed. Well, listen, we can only handle so much of Ben Swallow, okay? So, yeah. yeah. Well, well. <laughs> Think for yourself. I can handle it. Oh, all. my God. <laughs> no, 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 no. What they surprised the film for Philip and Tom Holland has a shirtless scene in it. But just by accident. Don't mention Tom Holland. I'll, I'll faint. Right, there, oh, there we go. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's the uh, Jedi. Spoilers. Tom Holland. Wait a minute now. He be the broom kid from The Last Jedi. <sighs> how, how old is Tom Holland? <laughs> old enough. He's the same oh. age as me, 23. Okay, so that's fine then. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Philip's, not gonna, Philip's not going to take Tom Holland back and play his ecstasy card on him now, is he? Uh, today, oh, All get right. free delivery today, 6 p.m. Or should I order it now? Oh. What are you talking oh. about, Philip? We're in a cast, damn it. It's his mail order Tom Holland. <laughs> <laughs> so he's ordered a Thai bride, but it came from the wrong address. A Thai bride. All right, so we're gonna get out of here now. It's oh. been fun, and we're gonna go back to talking about Doctor Who. Oh, I don't want to hear your fucking big-headed Doctor things. Oh, you fucking will hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, bye for now. Bye.